hello and welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel um, in this video I'm going to be giving an update to the massive tornado that ripped through several states uh, those states included Arkansas Tennessee Missouri Kentucky Mississippi and Illinois now the majority of the damage actually took place in Kentucky although there are other places uh, that experienced massive damage as well. Um, I forgot to add that um, St. Louis, which is in Missouri, they experienced uh, some tornadoes um, as well and some quite a bit of damage. Uh, most of the focus has been on Mayfield, Kentucky because of all places um, it experienced the most damage even though the Amazon plant in Illinois experienced extensive damage as well. Uh, the majority of the damage was in Mayfield, so that's where we're going to focus right there. I also hear that um, uh, there was a, a nice segment in Tennessee that was affected, but when you have a story such as what happened in Mayfield, everything else kind of just goes into the background. Um, I did note that one of the news uh, casters did say that. They said that a lot of focus is on Mayfield, but there was X amount of dam damage in this place and that place and this place. And they said, we don't want those people to feel like they are being ignored. And so I kind of noted that because when you look at some of the damage that took place um, in, there was another place, Bowling Green, Kentucky, um, Gilbertsville, Kentucky, I believe they said that whole town was wiped out. Um, another place was Dawson Springs, Kentucky. That was completely wiped out. Um, just damage all over the place. So the majority of it being in Kentucky, you don't want to forget about the other states that were affected as well. And to those down in Arkansas, those in Tennessee, those in Missouri, those in Illinois, who too were devastated by this. You don't want them to feel left out in the coverage of these catastrophic weather events so but more specifically i wanted to focus on the mayfield workers because of what was said to them uh, these uh, tornado sirens were going off well in advance but they were told that if they were to leave they will more than likely be fired so let's get into that story just a little bit here okay so what is going on here is it says mayfield kentucky this is where it all happened. This is where the epicenter of the storm was. <clears throat> it says, as a catastrophic tornado approached this city Friday, employees of a candle factory, which would later be destroyed, heard the warning sirens and wanted to leave the building. But at least five workers said supervisors warned employees that they would be fired if they left their shifts early. Okay. And it says, for hours, for hours as words of the coming storm spread, as many as 15 workers <clears throat> beseeched managers to let them take shelter at their own homes, only to have their requests rebuffed, the workers said. Fearing for their safety, some left during their shifts regardless of the repercussions. So for those who left, regardless of the repercussions, um, their lives may have been spared because of that decision to break the rules or to go against something that was stated. Okay, so anyway, what I wanted to talk about is this. Okay, of course the loss of life is horrible. Uh, they're saying at least eight people died in the Mayfield Consumer Products Factory, which makes scented candles. Uh, the facility was leveled and all that is left is rubble. Okay, there have been photos all over the internet um, and news footage covering this as well. But what I wanted to focus on is this. Many times you will have these situations happen and companies, not just this type of situation, but things period to where uh, companies are putting um, money high above where they put the lives of their workers. In other words, making money and earning money is a lot more important to many of these companies uh, than it is worker safety. 
throughout history we've seen this people working in coal mines or people working in caves or uh, just doing various types of jobs even those who work on skyscrapers uh, you hear of people who have these dangerous jobs and for the companies it is a lot more important to them that they make and earn money than it is your safety and it's unfortunate that this is the way it is this has always been the way to where uh, worker safety comes last because many of these companies are heavily insured and so of course they they feel like if something does happen insurance will cover it but that does nothing for those who lose life those who lose lose loved ones or those who are injured a lot of people are injured as a re result of workplace negligence and just all kinds of things like that. So to hear that this has happened to these people because someone would not take heed to a storm warning, not a storm watch, but a storm warning. They were told ahead of time that there were tornadoes on the ground. And instead of them taking heed to the fact that there were tornadoes on the ground, they literally gave people an option. They said, look, either you stay or else you're going to be fired. And so, you know, especially around the holiday season, a lot of people are concerned about, you know, being able to feed their families. And even without the holidays, you can't just walk away from jobs these days and expect to find another one, especially, especially if you're in a region that doesn't have a lot of jobs to begin with. And so for these workers to be faced with that choice or that option, that if you leave, you just might be fired. Many of them opted to stay. And that was the closest they could get to job security, which was staying behind in a dangerous situation when they could have put themselves in a better situation by going elsewhere. And so this is truly sad to hear that people lost their lives, period. Not just at the factory. Like I said, uh, this was a multi-state tornado. A multi-state tornado with massive, massive damage to infrastructure, whole towns, and loss of life. And for many of these people, it's going to take them, some of them, years to recover from all of this loss. And so it goes back to when you live in a capitalist society where money is king, where people thirst for money and riches so much so to where a human life means nothing to them. These are the kinds of tragedies that you will hear of. So anyway, I am done with this story or with this update. Um, in the comment section below, remember to keep it tight and keep it right, but until next time. We hope you like today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.